Okay, Darlene, you know how you said you wanted something really edgy? Well, hold on to your yellow teeth. <laughs> because here it is. The theme to my Barney's Christmas window is... Naughty. <laughs> Darlene, this is Santa's ho, ho, ho. <laughs> what? It's fabulous, right? Oh, wait, and for reindeer, we're gonna have eight little buff men and box briefs on all fours with antlers. Can you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> do, do your bit, do your bit, Kara. Okay. I've been on Dasher, on Dancer, on Prancer, on Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner but not on Blitz and he likes to watch. Okay! <laughs> and that's just the beginning. Tomorrow I'm holding a casting session for the three not so wise but very hot men. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop talking now. You go. You better be kidding me with this crap. This isn't a window for Barney's New York, New York. This is a window for the fairies who are going to get their eyes scratched out store. <laughs> Now, you have 24 hours to get this right, or not only will I fire you, I will rehire you, pull your hair, and fire you again. <laughs> Jack out with that window. He's in a real pickle. Jack wanted to do the job. Let him do it. Grace! It's Christmas, for goodness sake! Think about the baby Jesus! <laughs> Up in that tower, letting his hair down. <laughs> so that the three wise men can climb up and spin the dreidel and see that there's six more weeks of winter. <laughs> Get that from the bartender's Bible? <laughs> Forget it. All right, honey. I can't change your mind. I can see that. But uh, we're still friends, right? Come on, let's shake on it. What is this? Oh, Karen, keep your money. <laughs> Jack's on his own. Wow. What are the holidays coming to and you can't even bribe a friend to help a friend who screwed that friend over? Santa, it's Jackie. First of all, I, I, I just want to say I'm sorry about the time when I was 11 and told Timmy Woods that you didn't exist. I was just trying to make him cry so I could hug him. <laughs> but now I really need your help. This Barney's window is, it's a disaster. I guess I deserve it for screwing my friend over. But I'm really scared I'm gonna lose my job. So Santa, if you help me, I promise I'll never ask for anything ever, ever, ever again, ever. Amen. <laughs> Love, Jack. <laughs> P.S. Um, I know I just said that thing about never asking for anything ever, ever again. <laughs> but um, if you're feeling generous, um, I would like some leather pants. <laughs> um, hair extensions. And the ability to fly. <laughs> Okay, just so you know where I was coming from, I call this nothing for Christmas. I love it. What? It's dark, it's glam, it's sad. It's Christmas. Mary Kate and Ashley, it's beautiful. Don't stroke yourself, it's a real turn off. Nice. You do good work, Jack. Thank you. Grace, oh my god. I can't take credit for this. We both know that this wasn't me. 
I don't have the talent or the vision for something this good. You think it's that good? It's magnificent. Well, maybe the next time you'll be more willing to ask for some help. I did ask for help. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. I got down on my knees and everything. I mean, I didn't even think there was a Santa. <laughs> Santa? You think Santa did this? Well, I don't know how else to explain it. Do you? <laughs> nope. Must be Santa. Listen, do me a favor. You're the only one who knows about this, so... If anyone asks, just tell them I did it, okay? I promise. Oh, Jackie. Look at all this food. <laughs> we are so blessed. I know. There are poor people who dream their whole lives of a meal like this. eating and show it to them. <laughs> wow, Karen. You are like a female Jesus. <laughs> oh, great. The food's here. I'm just gonna clean up, get in my robe, tie my boys in a bow, and I'll be right with you. <laughs> But I've been here the whole time. <laughs> I thought I could have fooled one of you with that. <laughs> Leo showed up. Is, is that a no? Hey, hey, rudeness Giuliani. <laughs> you can't just use us, toss us aside, and then waltz back in here and expect us to forgive everything. We are not sleeping together. <laughs> All oh, right, look, I, sh I shouldn't have left, okay? I mean, I really was having a good time, and I want to be here now. Please? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, um, we will consider letting you back in, but you're gonna have to work for it. What do I have to do? Pleasure us, fast and nasty. <laughs> An extra point if you can find a way to work in that shoe shine mitt. <laughs> There isn't a mitt big enough. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Option B. You must recite was the night before Christmas to us. Well, I can do that. But you must substitute every fifth word with the word Heine. <laughs> and give a little kick like a rocket. <laughs> it was the night before Heine. Yeah. And all through the hiney, <laughs> not a creature was hiney, <laughs> not even a mouse. <laughs> hiney. Oh, I am full. I cannot drink another bite. I think I ate too much, too. I'm gonna have to undo the bellhop's pants. Now don't poop out on me. We still have to go caroling. You gotta be kidding, I'm stuffed. If I opened my mouth to sing, half a bird would fly out. Honey, this is the palace. We don't have to go out to Carol. Come here. Here's the ice you asked for? Oh, yes. I'll just put it right over here, Bellman. <laughs> Good King Wenceslas looked out on the feast of Steve. When the snow lay round about, deep and crisp and easy. Brightly shone the moon that night Though the frost was cruel When a poor man came inside Gathering winter fuel Thank you, Bellman. That'd be all. Thank you. Oh, isn't that fun? Something. Problem with the heater? Oh, yes, electrician. The dial's on 74, but... We'd like it on 73, huh? No? <laughs> Just here. So sleigh bells ring 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 ring
lot like the first Christmas. Except we did get a room. None of us are virgins, and instead of the baby Jesus, we have a plate of cheeses. <laughs> oh, hey, Will, your brother just got here. Oh, look what he's got with him. A little Christmas queer. <laughs> with the queer stuff in front of my mom. I don't think she can handle having another gay kid in the family. I, I remember one Christmas, she was so excited when I asked for two G.I. Joes because she thought I was building an army. <laughs> she freaked when she realized I was really building a home. Guys, really, we don't even know if he's gay. Hi, Uncle Will. Hey. Guess what? I invented a new cologne. It's called Scoundrel. And we know. Uh, Scoundrel is Joan Collins' fragrance. Darn it! That woman is always a step ahead of me. <laughs> oh, Jordy, I am so glad you're here. Now you can help me fold napkins. Sure. I love him. <laughs> hey! Sammy. And it's my favorite niece, Casey. She's adopted, but I like her as if she were real. <laughs> Don't you think the tree is tea Aki? <laughs> she should have gone monochromatic. EX Ackley. <laughs> yeah, you want to pick your spots with that. <laughs> Jack, I want to put on a Christmas show tonight. Will you help me? I'd be delighted. <laughs> See, now that's where that works. <laughs> hey, Karen, would you keep an eye on Casey for a minute? I want to run upstairs and get her my G.I. Joes, their gardening tools, and their bed and breakfast. Of course I will. She's so cute, I could just eat her up. Mm. <laughs> yeah. You won't, though, right? <laughs> Girl. Oh, what's that? It's a diamond ring. Hmm. Not a very good one. <laughs> it's occluded. The cut is pedestrian and it's watermelon. <laughs> Here. See what a real diamond looks like. Uh-huh. It's from my husband. <laughs> And believe me, you're getting it a lot easier than I did. <laughs> hey, Jordy was just on the phone with your grandpa, George. He wishes he was here, but he's with his girlfriend. He's helping Santa. <laughs> hey, Will, help us with Jordy's Christmas show. A Christmas show? No, no, no. No, uh, Jordy, that's, that's a bad idea. Grandma doesn't really like Christmas shows. Really? But I've been planning it for months. Uh, I know, and I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but it's just, it makes her uncomfortable. You know, she'd, she'd rather see little boys playing in the snow than, than singing in the rain. <laughs> Jordy, take five. Have a smoke and a carrot stick. Your aunts need to talk shop. <laughs> What's going on here? I don't remember driving into the town from Footloose. Let the boy dance. <laughs> I know my mother. You have no idea how many of my little plays she ruined. Talking and, and fidgeting and, and doing anything to distract the family from watching her gay son do fan kicks in the beanbag chair. <laughs> you poor thing. No! <laughs> Let the boy dance! I just don't want to see Jordy humiliated like I was. I, I used to be so upset I'd, I'd spend the rest of the night scarfing down butter cookies and pretending that the crinkling of the wrappers was, was uh, applause. <laughs> I had no idea. No! Oh, dance! I don't know where you get your jewelry, but... <laughs> this necklace is delicious. Don't start without me. Mom, what are you doing? I'm getting ready to enjoy the show. What's your game, woman? <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing Jordy St. James. <gasps> That's a stage name. I had to nix Dame Jordy Dench. Santa Claus! Man. 
Mr. Santa Claus. I get the kids applause, Mr. Santa Claus. That boy is the next Wayne Newton. <laughs> How many Blue Marylands have you had? Well, shush. You shush. Will you shush? Will you shush? This is Jordy's moment. And keyboard solo. Jordy, you're in the audience for the sweetheart. <laughs> Enjoy your grandson's Christmas show right in front of me. Well, William, what is your problem? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's that, it's that you ruined every single Christmas play I ever did. I, I mean, I mean you, you give him a standing ovation, but for me, you'd, you'd be fidgeting, looking at your watch, melting a, a cherry secret into your stupid secret drink. Will just had to steal the spotlight. That's okay, Jack. I don't mind. He stole it from me, Jory. Grow up. <laughs> oh, Will. I don't get it. How, how could you be so encouraging to Jordy when you were always so awful to me? Oh, darling, I, I think when you were a child, I think I I just handled everything badly. You know, I I wasn't prepared to raise a gay son. You know, it was the 50s. It was not the 50s. Oh, no. But darling, because of who you are and what you've become, I, I realize that I... I just should have done things differently. I learned from you, Will. You did? Yeah. And even though I can't change the past, I can try to be better with Jordy, you know? Wow. Thank you, Mom. That means a lot to me. <laughs>